A change of heart from Missouri Governor Mike Parson. Last year, he vetoed funding for Missouri Task Force One, but this year the governor is asking for $1.3 million. Chris Bryan explains how that money would be used. Missouri Task Force One has provided search and rescue efforts across Missouri and the United States with its first deployment in 2001 to Ground Zero at the World Trade Center. Although uh, nobody in this building of the Capitol agrees on everything 100% of the time, we all know that Missouri Task Force One is vital to not just the state of Missouri, but to the entire country. Task Force One is one of 28 urban search and rescue FEMA teams in the United States. From canine handlers to doctors, the team has more than 40,000 pounds of equipment and is designed to be self-sufficient for up to 72 hours while on deployment. Not every member of the task force gets to deploy. And so if if we have new new members that come on that's never experienced that, uh, the best time to do that is during a training exercise. And more than 200 first responders from across the state, including right here in the Ozarks, make up the team. The $1.3 million the governor is asking for will cover the cost of training along with other expenses. What that will be used for, uh, the core amount to task force is 225000 Training, uh, extensive uh, training is 500000 And then for uh, equipment and other essentials is six hundred and. $19,250. So it comes out to one point. The task force trained in Georgia last year to get firsthand experience of what deployment is like. Doing the advanced training, um, live scenario type stuff, it is, it is the best training that we can get and the most lifelike training that we can have anywhere in the country. So it's, it's vital that our people get that training. Um, you know, it's also tenfold where we can involve the state of Missouri. They can, they can see it from the state emergency operations center floor, the SEAC floor. Really what we're emulating is that training that may happen or something that would happen within the state of Missouri. So very vital that we have that funding for this training. But for one lawmaker, she understands why the veto had to happen. The state constitution requires us to have a balanced budget. And so we can't spend more money than we take in. And so every line item is important to look at and review carefully each and every year because revenue the Boone County Fire Protection District in Columbia is the official home base for Task Force One. The Assistant Fire Chief, Gail Blumenkamp, says the training last year got scaled back because of the lack of funds and hopes that this will change this year. So with this um, funding from the state and the advanced training that we can do, it gives everybody that opportunity that if they haven't deployed to get that experience, get that training. And so when the real deal happens, um, they're, they're prepared for it even more. In Springfield, Chris Bryant, KY3 News.